Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm gonna be discussing um the recently released pictures about the about how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles may look like in the upcoming movie produced by Michael Bay. We also have one picture of Shredder and how he may look like. So you know, let's get started. Um, uh, first off, <coughs> I want to say that. I don't know if these are like action figures that may be released or if they're if they're like for the CGI effects and whatever. I'm gonna say in the art for the CGI because you know that's the safest bet. So here you just have a general image of all the turtles, Raphael, Michelangelo, you know, up front, Donatello right behind Rapha um, Raphael, and obviously Leonardo right behind Michelangelo. So yeah, um, you know, just a broad, you know, imagery of how each one would look like, or whatever. That looks pretty cool. Um, out now for some more in depth, in depth, um, and more in depth look on each one. So this first one is of Leonardo, not Leonardo, sorry, Donatello, and yeah, how he may look like. Um. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, you know, he does look like a. He kind of reminds me like of a, teen, like, teenage mutant ninja turtle. You know, Donatello, almost mixed with like Hulk or maybe Abomination. Um, you know, he just has like that ruggedness and roughness and whatever. Um, I like that he has like that, almost like Mong Mongolian or, Viking or whatever like chest plate thing there. Um. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just me or or not, but it kind of seems like they cut off his arm or his hand or something. I really can't tell. I mean, he seems to be holding a sword, but that could be like on a hol holster or holster or whatever. So, but to me, kind of seems like they cut off his arm or hand at the very least. Um, he does look pretty cool, you know. Um, this does kind of this kind does kind of differ from the previous. Uh, films, um, uh, you know, so making them look like, te like, you know, teenage you know, Ninja Turtles. They kind of look like, like adult you know, Ninja Turtles. You know, they look like more like in their early twenties, kind of, than their teenage years or whatever. If that makes sense, I mean, his face does look a little bit weird, um, especially around the mouth. But you know, I, you know, I, I could live with it. This next one is of Leonardo. Um, yeah, we don't have the full image, you know, of his full body, but whatever, you know, it's good enough. Um, here actually also does seem like they cut off his hand. Um, yeah, you also see like that Mongolian or Viking chest plate thing on him. So you know that's kind of cool. Um, the boots, that's kind of weird. Um, I don't, I, there are, I mean, they were also in Donatello, I believe. Um. Yeah, they were on Donatello. Just didn't notice him because of his armor, like bottom armor, but whatever. Um, this in this one it actually looks kind of weird with that boot on. Uh, but like, no, whatever. It's it's okay. Um, overall this one this figure looks okay. Um, this next one is of Raphael. You know, kind of badass here. He obviously looks like the strongest one out of all these. He kind of has his mask. Has his mask like a hoodie. So you know that's pretty cool. Um, so far it doesn't really seem to be having any limb problems, you know, with any of them chopped off. Um, you know, you see some of them bandaged, but you know you know, whatever. You know, he does look pretty strong from this picture, you know, like he could probably lift a ton or whatever. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, so far I think he's my favorite figure of all these. And if these are action figures, I'd probably buy Raphael like in a in a heartbeat. Um, he, but yeah, one notable thing is that he doesn't seem to have like the Mongolian chest plate thing on him, which uh, I I guess it's okay with him. All of them seem to you know have to have their own distinction and whatever. This one this one's kind of cool. Um, the last of the turtles is Michael Angel, like Raphael. He doesn't seem to have like any chest plate or whatever on him, like Mongolian. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, he also doesn't seem to have his nunchuck, nunchucks or whatever. I and mean, I kind of forgot to mention the Raphael one, that he also didn't have his size, but, you know, 
This is Michael, you know, Raphael didn't have his size. Michelangelo doesn't have his nunchucks or any chains or anything like he sometimes carried in like in the 80s TV series. But you know, besides the point, um, yeah, I do feel it's kind of odd that he's wearing like like pants or something. Um, yeah, I do. I do feel it is kind of odd, but he it does make him look a bit cooler. So you know that's pretty cool. Um, he also doesn't seem to have any of the boots. Um, which I think also Raphael didn't have. The, yeah, Raphael didn't have the boots. Um, he, yeah, he doesn't seem to have the boots. He just has to have seem to have this like pants, which um, I think it's pretty cool and does make him very distinctive from the rest of the turtles in this movie and just instinctive overall if all the turtles have ever been incarnated into a movie so yeah now lastly is we have three images of the shredder now these aren't exactly action figures i actually can't tell what the hell these are i can't i mean i know they hired an actor i forget his name uh, something i think it was forget it uh, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna try but um yeah it's kind of odd i mean the, this is like another figure i think i feel it's kind of odd because i really don't think you should do shredder cgi'd but yeah no but so he does look pretty cool i mean he, he does have like that gritty armor a grittier armor it really doesn't seem to be made out of metal it may be a harder metal that's a bit grittier but whatever i mean his face is kind of cool he has like sort of a demonic face and it does kind of seem like this is more of a Mongolian mask. Yeah. Or just Asian overall. Um, now, if you could tell from the top left picture, you know, with his full armor, you could kind of see him with like what seems to be some more chains or metals or blades or whatever. Those are pretty cool overall. But overall, all these look pretty damn cool in my opinion. So yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, you know, so, yeah, um, yeah, that's basically it, subscribe, I also do other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, CMT topics, um, you know, comment down below on your thoughts on how all these figures look, and which one is your favorite, and do you think Shutter should be done cgi um, you know, as I said before, subscribe, I also do other movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic reviews, so yeah, this is Daniel Marks, signing off.